and thank you for joining me for another Cookies Tech and Talk table. In this episode, we're still addressing the GPD Win 2 series, specifically fighting games and Steam, and fighting games and cracked Steam games. Now, what I mean about cracked Steam games is I have a website link that I'm going to put into this video that will talk about games that you can get without having to buy them. I don't want to reveal the source but the source will be revealed in the link below. Yes, it will go to this website where you can download not only free PC games that you would normally find on Steam, but they are standalone and you can play them just as you would on Steam, except you can't get online and have all the other extra stuff that you would find when installing it directly through Steam. I do like both the pirated games and I do like the legit games, but what I do try to do is buy the legit games after I've reevaluated the ones that I've downloaded that were the pirated or the cracked versions. So in here, the majority of the games that are in this folder that I'm going to zoom in in a second are mostly bought out of Steam. I have maybe one or two right now that are not Steam bought only because I like having separate versions of a game. And in Steam, what they'll do is, if an upgraded version exists, they will overwrite the previous version to give you the updated version. So, with that being said, let's take Guilty Gear for a second. I have Guilty Gear Third Sign, then I have Guilty Gear Third Sign Revelator, and then I have Revelator 2. There's an update from the first gen Revelator to Revelator 2, but what will happen is, Revelator 2 will overwrite the original Revelator and then you don't have the previous version. So this is where cracked games come in. I like having sometimes the cracked version of either the previous version or the sequel because then I get to have both and I get to interchange between the two. I like having those options and I think that's something Steam should kind of be aware of a little bit more of before they give you the update patch. They should give you some options if you want to copy the files and make it a totally separate game. So, with that being said, I'm going to get into it. I could have just taped the video here specifically on the GPD Win 2 device, but because the screen is small, and there are mostly videos that are doing that already, I'm going to be doing most of my videos connected to this Asus gaming monitor right here. So when I load up the games, I'll still be sitting down, as you can see, and loading up each game, and just kind of showing you my specific settings for these various fighting games. And then in a later video, I will address Adventure Platform and RPG. So it's going to be separate videos for each PC game dealing with Steam and cracked versions of Steam games. So let's get right into it. So the first game I'm going to start off with, I'm going to start off with some current gen games right now because that's what people mostly want to see is the current stuff. And then I will go back maybe the previous generation to show how well they play flawlessly on this in comparison to the original GPD win. Uh, of course, there's still some modifications that are made with the device, but they're not much in comparison to the kind of modifications and option adjustments I had to make on the previous first gen device. So let's get started. I'm gonna start out with dead with a Tecmo game, Dead or Alive 5 Final Round. And it's launching. And of course, this is me playing the handheld device, as you can see right here. And it's connected to this Asus gaming monitor. And of course, the sound is it's running through the monitor. I have no extra speakers. So I'm going to speak a little bit slightly louder so you can hear my voice over the monitor while also putting down some of the volume here. So I've been a fan of Dead or Alive since the first incarnation of PS1, way back in the day. It was one of those fighting games that was supposed to be a shoujo fighter that ended up becoming a mainstream fighter by Team Ninja. So I'm going to go into training. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me just back out first. Let me go into options. Now, of course, there are a myriad of options to get this running at 60 frames. I was extremely surprised that Dead or Alive 5 runs at 60 frames. So when I go into, let's see, is it game settings? No, not so much game settings. Let's see, screen, not screen. Let's see what options I used. Let's see, extras, options here. 
Okay. Okay, so let's see. So I know I didn't have to do too much changing with DOA 5. I feel that this version of DOA 5 is very reminiscent of the PS Vita version. And I believe that's why it runs so well because it has the quality of the PS Vita. Um, I don't remember having to change too much or maybe nothing at all with this game because the way it ran right out the gate was very surprising to me. And I'm going to go right into free training for a second. Okay. And surprisingly enough, not only does it look like the PS Vita version, I feel it looks even better than the PS Vita, P PS Vita version. Since since we're only working with 128 megabytes of dedicated VRAM, but then when you go into the BIOS settings and you change the active graphics memory where you can put it on full, I've learned that it's been able to function a bit better, even pushing this system to its literal limits. I just pick Ayane because uh, she's the token character, and then... Okay, this character, this um, background is very graphics heavy, so we'll, I can show you exactly how things run so smoothly. I don't have a, a frame rate counter here. There's no option for me in DOA 5 to put a frame rate counter, so um, I'm hoping you guys just take my word for it. I've been able to play this as if I'm playing the actual arcade version. It looks so good. Running water in the background. Graphics like that you would have thought would have slowed down the system. It actually works so well. Destructible backgrounds, multiple layers. And so I'm kind of just pressing almost anything. It's been a while since I played with Lei Fang. I like her a lot and I look forward to playing with her in DOA 6. I guess I could forget about DOA 6 coming out <laughs> for Steam. <laughs> and it probably won't even load on this machine. But to think how much technology we have come such a long way to even get this far on a device like this, I can honestly say the GPD Win 2 is the first handheld device to run almost every single fighting game that I've desired from multiple platforms on one system, whether it's the PC version or an emulated version. So I'm going to press start here. There we go. Go back to the main menu. And then kind of just give us one match. One match, as you can see real quick, in arcade mode. Uh, we'll put it on normal. I don't think I'm, I'm that whack of a player. Let's see, where are you, Lei Fang? There you are. Okay. And all that graphics movement, you would have thought the system would have slowed down. Either the transfer of the information from the HDMI connection to the monitor and back. There has been no slowdown at all. I've enjoyed my experience with this very much so. Oh, ooh, I'm getting fucked up by Helena. Come on, Lei Fang. There we go. I know my knowledge is DOA 2-esque, so... Let's do this. DOA, DOA 2 combos. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. I need more time to practice this game. Oh, oh, she said stop. Uh-oh. And she threw me. Oh, shit. Come on, Lei Fang. Oh. Another destructible background. That's what I was looking for, actually. To show how the destructible backgrounds are, are very quality like. Very real here. No slowdown. Full 60 frames and then some. Didn't have to do too much of no adjustments at all with the game. I just went right into it as you can see. So let's get back. We're going to quit this now. And show you another game. So DOA 5 is still a current gen fighting game. Now that DOA 6 has been announced. Of course that will be the previous generational game. We'll exit this game now. Okay. Now I'm going to go to another game that um, is being played amongst um, the anime circles right now. Which is King of Fighters 14. Now this version 
I did not feel like paying 30 bucks right now on Steam for it. So this is a cracked version that you can get from the website in this video link. King of Fighters 14. Here we go. 14. Cracked version here. So I noticed there is a little bit of slowdown in the startup, but then as the game progresses, it picks up speed, but it, I see the slowdown is only with the logo and starting up the game. But once you get into the game, um, it's not the same, but I did have to make adjustments to make this game run exactly the way I needed to. So we're not at a full 60 frames, let me be honest, it's more like 57 frames. It jumps between 56, 57 to 58, 59 frames. Sometimes you get 60, it's really a variable rate, but it never ever goes below 56 frames. And if that works for you, then this is, then you can work with this game too. So in options, this is what I had to do. I had to go all the way over to the graphics options. Um, I changed it to 1280 by 720, which was cool. Full screen, not windowed. And then moving over, well, that was display. In graphics right here, I had to turn all the extra settings off. If you do not turn the extra settings off, then the game will slow down in every aspect. So the bloom has to be off. The depth of field has to be off. The anti-aliasing has to be off. Shadows have to be off. God rays have to be off. Um, maps have to be off, um, and anisotropic filtering has to be off. Everything that's extra has to be off in order to get the full 56, 57, 58 frame rate. So that's what I did, and then when I go into training, you could be able to see, where's my, my girl Vice here? Yeah, I only play with the female characters. And then... Um, yeah, I never really was a fan of Andy. We could beat up Andy Bogard. Which, this is the kind of modifications I had to make for King of Fighters 13 on the original GPD Win first gen model. I had to turn off everything for that shit to work. And yeah, this is good. I like saxophone under the moon. So it takes a little minute to load, but not too long. But then again, the PlayStation version of this game took a long time to load anyway. So... I'm assuming it's supposed to take this long to load. And considering that I'm running the game off the micro SD card of 400 gigabytes, this is pretty damn cool because it gets to transfer read speeds of up to 110 to 120 megabytes per second, which isn't bad if you ask me. Okay, we're getting into the match now. So, well, oh, oh, I didn't want to do a throw. So you can see a little bit of slowdown. And now you go. Okay. One, two. Where's my combo set? Okay. Here we go. There we go. So, yeah. Turn on the other side. <laughs> so okay so this runs well for me I don't mind running this at 57 58 um, at lowest 56 frames this works for me considering that this is the only traveling handheld device right now that you can say runs King of Fighters 14 at this rate there's nothing else anything better would be a gaming laptop but the purpose of this is to have it portable. So, of course, this is, you know, the alternate version, um, portable version that you can have until maybe hopefully we get a Switch version. But even then again, you know, I play interchangeable games between my Nintendo Switch and, of course, the GPD Win 2. So that's KOF 14 right here. Right. Combo sets are good. One and one. Oh. There we go. So I've enjoyed this game so far, playing it in arcade. I haven't had any slowdown, like I said, below 56 frames. And if that works well for you, then 
feel free to download this game for free at the link I provided within this video. Okay, let's move on to the next game. I'm going to pause this out. Exit on out of here. Yes, I am a KOF fan. Personally, I'm a fan of the older KOF games. I do like 14, but um, I usually play up to 11. Don't play 12 like that. I love 13's music. I play it for fun, but not in tournaments. So let's see. What is the next current game? So I'm going to go right into um, Guilty Gear Revelator 2, which is this right here. This right here. This is um, a cracked version from, once again, the link that's in this video. Um, this is a current game, the current version of Guilty Gear. And I will show you, of course, the modifications that I had to do within the options mode. So most of the current gym games, you're going to have to go and make some option adjustments. But they're great because i got to tell you, Steam PC games really work with you. They really know how to work with you and make things run to the best of the integrity of the device that you're using. Okay. And so same thing here. Um, I was able in this one. I think I was able to go and put the the frame rates visible, but um, I had to go into display settings and in image quality. I had to put it under um, processing quality. So so basically, um, under processing quality. This means it makes the system run faster. If you put it under quality priority, um, then of course it, it improves graphic speed. So it's all about what works for you. Either or works well. I like quality priority, but processing priority may work just only because of the of the way the, the graphics you need to improve the speed because we don't have a dedicated graphics card. Display mode is still full screen. Now with VSync. Um, I put that on, you can put it on on or off, doesn't really matter. I like it on off. Anti, anti alias, I put it all the way to SMAA. Post effects, I've turned off. Dynamic lighting, I turn off. Display frame rate, we're going to turn it on so you can see what I'm talking about here. Oh, let me turn that back. Oops, Ooh. back to full screen. So yeah, anti-aliasing, I put it all the way to the right-hand side to SMAA. And then we're putting this on processing priority. So those are all the changes that we've made to make sure we get the max amount of frame rates for this game. So that is closest to arcade quality as possible. So we're going to close out. Check these one more time. Make sure everything is still there. Yep, everything is still there. Close close okay and then for this one we're just gonna jump into the battle here I'll just do an arcade match um, let's see find out what happens days before the base mm. let's see battle com yep okay confirm all right see Everything is running smoothly so far at 60 frames. If you can see it, it is full 60 frames here. And I love how Steam works with the controller here. It's pre-configured. I didn't have to go in and change the buttons. Let me mind you, it's like that with all of the Steam games that I've been playing so far. They've been able to work really well with recognizing the controls scheme and just mapping it automatically without you having to map. That is a plus. It takes so much time to map controllers and shit. Now, when emulators get to that point, like the Dreamcast emulator and PlayStation emulator, when they can auto-analyze like that to that degree, man, they will really be cooking. Okay, I am technical. So, we're going to stay at default. We're going to do auto stage. And then I'm going to fight Chip. We'll do one match to show this. Okay. See, and it's... So here, this is when things start to change a bit. But overall... 
We're still at 59, 60 frames here. Still at 60 frames. Okay. Okay, 59, 60. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Still at 59, 60 frames right there. As you can tell, I don't really know too much of what I'm doing. It's been a while since I played Guilty Gear. This game I've played back when it was like XX and Itsuka. And then Action Core I played. So this new game, I got these games so that I can start learning how to play these games again. So, and here we go. Alright, 59, 60 frames still, alright, so you can see that the, the graphics quality has gone down because I had to change the settings, so I'm going to return back to the menu, but for me this is good, if you're really stickler about graphics then maybe this is not the the game for you, but for me, I can live without not having all of the flash and pizzazz of all the smooth, the smooth, I guess, picture quality of the of the anime right there. I like it as it is. So tell me, no, let me know what you think. You know, I'm still at 60 frames here, and that was just one match. So I'm gonna exit out of this game. I'm gonna quit. Okay, and then we'll go over to another game here. Let's see. Oh, this one. So I'm going to do two more games. Actually, I'll do three more games. I'm going to hit up Street, um, not Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Killer Instinct, and then Mortal Kombat. So with Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct had to be modified just a little bit. There's some modifications that had to be done with this game. Takes a minute. Takes a little, takes a little minute to load here. Okay. 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 Very different than playing the actual Microsoft downloaded version from the Microsoft Store. I like that they have a Steam version. Pretty cool. And of course, one of the things with uh, starting Killer Instinct is always uh, connecting to their store to see if there's any new con if there's any new content. So we're going to go into options. We're going to press L1. Let's see. There we go. And these are the changes that I had to make when I go into graphics. Full screen is on. Resolution is still 1280 by 720. Motion blur is off. Reflections is off, ambient occlusion is off, bloom is off, um, and of course anti-aliasing is off. Let's see where else. Shadow quality is low, texture quality low. Everything basically has to be has to be off or, or on low. Off or on low. So I'm gonna go back to back to full screen. Display. So cinematic ender camera is on, display input off. Um, these are just other aesthetics of the game. They have nothing to do with the quality of the graphics. And so let me hit Alt Enter. So as you know, I can't put this technically into full screen right now only because 
I have this hooked to the monitor and so there are different properties between the monitor and the GPD Win 2 device. And so there's some games that I've noticed that if I want to put into full screen, I cannot because the monitor doesn't sync the same way that the GPD Win 2 device does. Something to just kind of put out there. So some games you'll play, you'll be able to put in full screen. This is an excellent example of full screen in a window box, but will only match full screen borderless once this is unhooked from the monitor here. Maybe there'll be a fix for that in the future. If someone else, somebody else out there happens to know the fix, please put a comment on this video. I'll be very happy for that. So we're going to go into fight. We're just going to do one. We'll go into story for a second. And I'll just pick one character. Orchid's my girl. One match. One match only. Okay. So this part runs a little bit slow, the cinematics. Okay. It's a shame all the changes they made with Black Orchid since the original Killer Instinct. She was like the hero in the original first two games back in 95 and 96. And now she's been reduced to this paranoid agent that's on psychotropic meds. She doesn't know who she is and she's bipolar. Um, took me a lot to get adjusted to that. The once strong female archetype character back in the 90s is now this side sub-character that's not even the star anymore. So I guess the creators decided to make some changes, which is cool. If you ask me, some people's egos are bigger than reality, but that's just my um, opinion. Okay. So you can see it's it's running pretty smooth, but there's a little bit of slowdown going on here. But it doesn't render the game totally enable of playing. One game that's really bad that I did not install because it just doesn't run so well is Mortal Kombat XL. And I guess that's just the way the game was programmed. It's a lot of lot of graphics power. There's a lot of um, the game is just graphics heavy in general. And so there's just hardly no way to scale things down enough to where the game is enjoyable enough to play. That's just my opinion. There's some other videos out there that show the game playing better. Maybe they've tweaked their GPD Win 2 devices. So see here, um, it's pretty slow. This would be an excellent example of a game that's very graphics heavy. But for me, I can deal with it a bit. I guess I like it. But, you know, I, wouldn't pl I definitely wouldn't play this online. You know, for a fighting game, this is definitely too slow. Yeah, see? Yeah. So, and I think I'll stop it at round one. It is painful. <laughs> to even try to play. Ooh, this is painful. Wow. Ooh, yeah, this is bad. Oh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> so there's a prime example of Killer Instinct, the uh, Xbox <laughs> Xbox One PC edition for the win isn't working so well. Wow. Okay, so I think I'll stop it right there. I think I put y'all guys through enough torture. <laughs> so we're going to quit. Oof. Okay. Yeah, let's exit this. Yes, let's exit this game. Ooh, that was painful. Ultra Street Fighter 4. That would be the next game. Okay. Now this game, which which was so hard to run on the original GPD Win first generation, 
runs perfectly without any modifications at all. So previous gen games, King of Fighters 13, Street Fighter 4, the, the older Guilty Gears, Revelator Part 1, and then also all the, all the Blaze Blue games with the exception for Central Fiction. All those games you can play without any modifications. Central Fiction, you have to modify the same way you would the, the newer Guilty Gear games. You have to turn off all a lot of the extra graphic options so that you can get 58, 59, and 60 frames. Okay, well, let's start this. Yes, this game runs so perfect. So this would be my last example. I'll go into arcade mode real quick. It says it's saving the content. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's see, let's go to arcade. One match. There you are. Gross! Only the food cart can stand up to it. It's a card of fleet in the beginnings. Card of reckless heroism. Oh, I hope she's in Street Fighter V in the future. My favorite female character. Next to Elena and Chun-Li. And Hokuto from the EX series, by the way. Yes. Card lies in the hands of one man. He cannot act alone bars with the line and hurt his queen. Hopefully it's not your last mission. <laughs> Hopefully you're in Street Fighter V. By the way, Street Fighter V doesn't run so well on the GPD Win 2. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is running at a full 60 frames. More than that. All right. Here. Okay, we'll exit. And we'll quit. Okay. So that's my example of a couple of fighting games, current, current gen and a couple of previous gen versions that run excellent with just either with or without modifications. If there is a fighting game that you would like for me to demo 
on this machine, let me know. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I'm going to continue to do more videos like this with the GPD Win 2 device attached to my gaming monitor so I can have a better quality of showing you guys what is possible with this device. Um, let me know what you think. Positive or negative reviews, thank you. I really do appreciate them all and I will do my best to accommodate um, any requests out there. Um, I'm trying to be a bit different than most. So um, let me know. Thank you guys for joining me with this video. Until next time, this is Cookie Tech and Talk Table.